I look exhausted, because I am, <laughs> but um, I also look super red in this lighting. But yeah, so just waiting for our flight to leave. We got on, and then we had to get off, and so gonna be late to Louisville, but uh, should be okay just because I had like five hours uh, like wait time before they came and picked me up, so. All right, three o'clock on the dot. Just made it to Louisville, all right? And uh, I slept on the plane, so that's really great. Slept on the plane, I did a little ideal job meditation to go with my flow where I'm going in life. Uh, worked some more on my speech, just kind of, I already have it, but just went over it and stuff in my head and how I want to present it and tried to like really focus on my intentions with that. So I'm excited to uh, meet up with Chad, who's going to come pick me up. And then I get to hit the hotel, get showered up, get all dolled up, eat some food, and uh, go see uh, Kentuckiana Pride. Uh, apparently Chad said it's like doubled what it was last year, so I'm excited to see all the vibes here and the pride coming out of Indiana and Kentucky. So, plus, I think people have accents here, so I'm kind of excited to hear all their accents. <laughs> what a beautiful, lucky view I got of Louisville. You don't pronounce the I or the S. <laughs> beautiful view. Staying at the luxurious luxurious Galt Hotel. Um, unfortunately, I only am here for a night, um, but I'm super excited to be here. This is really the first time I'm a Grand Marshal at an event, so that's really cool. I had to take off my, like, I, we were on the plane. We were stuck on the plane. It was delayed forever, and um, I hate, like, not to be gross, but I sweat right freaking through my damn shirt. So uh, I really only have like an hour to get ready, get to do my hair, get dressed. I gotta figure out an outfit because it's really hot. Yesterday in Louisville, it was 102 chat sets. So that's crazy. So it's a little cloudy out, but the sun's coming out every now and then. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is try to figure out, like, I think I wear pants with some type of tank top or something. Um, brought a couple of different options. I wanna uh, wear something really prideful today, uh, especially during, you know, my speech and stuff. Yeah, you know, I hope you can hear me, actually. This is pretty loud. Um, so, that'll be cool. Otherwise, uh, just kinda quickly, quickly getting all ready and dressed, but, um, yeah, I'm pumped. It's like 3.55 now. Uh, I'm excited to see what the prize is like. Apparently, it's... Uh, I don't know if I said this before, but apparently it's double in size. So that's really freaking cool. Um, since the Orlando shooting, they uh, a lot of people have come out. And even... I've even... I even heard a little bit about how their uh, police was like not always... Not always overly caring about pride events, not that they weren't there, but now they're gonna have uh, bomb sniffing dogs, they're gonna have like double the amount of police, they've got cameras all over the uh, pride sections, like where the parade's going during the festival, so it's gonna be on high alert, but we're still gonna have a really good time, we're not gonna let that stress us or fear us, that's what uh, our police are here for, to protect us, and you know, I, I, I always try to think that you know, I always try to hope that the policeman is there for the right reasons, so. I'm pumped, gonna pick out an outfit here. Not sure exactly what it's gonna be, but, oh yeah, I usually show you guys the hotel room, so. You know, the view is really what it was about. Got double bed, it's just me, but. Uh, I'm not gonna be spending too much time here. Otherwise, oh, this is really dark back here. You're not gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. Just gotta get it done. I'm pumped. I practice my speech one more time. I'm gonna actually verbalize it because I've been doing a lot in my head. So this view is freaking just gorgeous. You like that? Looks cool, right? <laughs> so um, just practiced my speech. Got all dressed up. It's kind of hot out, so I brought an extra shirt with me. But I am gonna bring my backpack because I have some stuff with me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Oh look, there you are. Hey. Let's practice my speech. Um, I have about 15 minutes. My speech was about 10-ish, um, 10 to 12. So I'll have to 
try to slow it down a little bit. You know, a lot of times when you do like public speaking, you get really nervous and you tend to speak really fast. So I have to make sure I can, uh, I go nice and slow so everyone can hear me. Let's, uh, let's hit the road, get out of here and have an awesome Kentuckiana pride. Boom. Oh, I gotta bring the key. Woo, that could have been bad. Here we go. How's it going? Where do you live? I All right, so I have arrived. Kentucky and a pride. There's a little setup. He's just driving in this car. Chad's a crazy driver. He should be like a racer in that thing, right? You're good, you're good. I'm worried. <laughs> okay. Everybody's setting up, getting ready, super pumped. Got the flags out, selling flags. Woo. All right, so chilling, Jimmy John's, killing some time. Got about almost 45 minutes till we begin. Everyone's setting up, lining up. It's pretty cool. I've never eaten at Jimmy John's. It was good. It's all right. People are are crowding the streets, bringing their balloons. Look at this guy. Oh, it's pretty bright out there. I love prides. Everyone's just so excited. And they're just themselves. That's the best part, you know? Like you could totally be yourself. I, I hope that people do that every day. And they're inspired by pride to do that every day. legislator and senator acknowledge that uh, you know we exist and that we should be supported so that's really freaking badass I was gonna get a picture but he's super packed out so let him be let the let the Louisville natives you know thank their mayor but thank you mayor so I'm walking around before anyone notices that I'm gone So please welcome them to the stage, the great organizers here of the Pride Festival. Thank you, Samir. Good evening, Louisville. I am Brandon Fullen, co-director for the Kentucky Inner Pride Foundation. This was an attack on that promise. It was an attack on our values, on our country, and our national community. It was an attack on who we are as a nation and as a people. No, actually, we've got somebody that's been on the men's uh, health magazine, the first transgender on the men's, uh, men's health magazine. How about that? Woo! 
He was the grand marshal today. He is fine. He is sexy. Give it up for Aiden Dowling. Is that right? You are one fine, sexy, sexy, sexy man. Let's see. Mic check. We got a mic. You want to use mine? Mic, mic. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Kentucky, had a pride. How's it going? Woo!